Hey everybody, it's your boy Juby, and this is my OMG interview. Enjoy. Skibby do bang bang. All right, basically, um, I always involve in culture. Um, since I'm born, I involve in culture. So it's not, it's never nothing really new with respect to me. It's always me looking to express myself in another creative way. You know what I mean? Um, preparing for Carnival 2018, and each and every year I try my best to put out a couple of contributions musically um, for the people. You know what I mean? And it's the same for going into this year. I put out music, I already have one release out and I enjoy it. I enjoy the vibes. Looking forward to Carnival 2018 and beyond. Well, the release is actually I Wanna Know. It's a track entitled I Wanna Know. The situation that uh, most of us face um, on a regular basis, whether it be regular or whether it be on a weekend, but it's a situation practically describing, um, you know, you end up in a situation where you go to an event and you see this particular individual and you're watching the vibes, you like the vibes and they're looking at you, vice versa, you know what I mean? And it had an eye to eye kind of flirt kind of interaction going on. Might end up in a case where, where the both eyes connect and one person turn away, you know this be. And um and then you wanna see this person again, you bounce up this person again as a matter of fact in another event. And it's like nah boy. Something strange, something strange. I can't bounce up the, this person in one place and I see her again. And it's the same kind of interaction, eye to eye interaction. And you like the person physically, you like the vibes and everything, and you just really wanna meet that person on the road, boy, because you all know what is going on the road. On the road, most people may get a hall pass, but on the road is, is that time of the year where you express yourself, you know what I mean? And I know it had to have a little gyrating, so I just want to know what you're seeing in it and if I can get a wine on you, you know, basically. And that's why I want to know. And that's my contribution. Um, it was produced by Red Chariot. I'm out of point 14, he reached out to me. And my roots is actually point, point 14, so I was like, why not do a track? coming out of point 14 because point 14 in itself has its, have its own vibes now and vibration and it made sense and I like to express myself um, music is my way of expressing like my uh, my vibes and everything and I the rhythm just pull out everything for me and I put lyrics to um, the paper and I con I executed on the um, on the mic when my mill beats productions and I did my recording and the song is out there, it's out for the people now to relate, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm definitely working on other projects for 2018 and beyond. I want to emphasize on beyond because um, coming up in the, in, the, in the entertainment industry, I wasn't really privileged to have like about three and four releases per year, you know what I mean? Because of different reasons, but I always writing and always building a vibe, you know what I mean? So I actually have an actual project that I, I really want to put out as a follow-up to I Wanna Know and as a follow-up to my catalogue. Um, I'm working on it with Colonel Roberts, you know what I mean? I have been writing my music over the years, I've been working with writers over the years and um, I decided uh, let me go and heal up Colonel, you know what I mean? I have a relationship with, with my other colleague within the industry, Chingy, and Aston Isaac and so on and Colonel have been working with us, you know what I mean? And I decided why not work with someone who actually have hits? Yeah, he actually have hits. He wrote a number of soca hits and his vibes, is, his energy is just right. So I, as a writer myself, say let me consult with Colonel and let me actually go pen to paper and we work on a project. And he also do production as well. He and Azikwe Keller. So that's the other project that I'm working on. Um, I don't really want to let the, the rabbit out of the hat yet with regards to the title, but it's a vibes that if I um, if I to not say if I to say a few words about it, it's basically I don't really want nobody jumping me for the carnival, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's that's practically the next project coming up, as well as some other calypso projects that um, I want to release and put out there because I have a lot to express. Eh? So I don't really want to put timelines to my projects, but I'm constantly working on stuff now. So. Expect a couple of tracks on me for this, this carnival season and beyond, man. A lot of people may not really know who Juby is. Eh? A lot of people will see me around. <laughs> as, I, as I said in, my, in one of my previous songs, I have a visa face. So people will know my face, you know what I mean? It's like one of the best. But people know Juby from around, but people don't know Juby the artist. You know what I mean? I actually 
consider myself as a, as a cultural ambassador. So I would be participating in events management and stuff with, with my family and, and extended family company, Article Entertainment, where we put on events and do event management and so on. And I also dress around with regards to working with Mass Band Humor in particular. Um, that's another collaboration with Article Entertainment. And just being around entertainment on the whole, Juby really love entertainment. Um, growing up, I always chanting in school. I always, I always building a vibe. I always, I really like to see people smiling. But to be honest, I, I, I don't find. I mean, everybody end up in different situations. Eh? But Juby like to be the one to um, kind of bring out the happiness around the whatever setting I in. So entertainment was my go-to. Culture is my go-to. So why not express myself and and see if people can relate to what I'm saying? Because I, I speak experiences. Understand? And I speak scenarios. So Juby jumping onto the music scene was was automatic. And um, I have been privileged to be born in culture where my dad actually is is a, is a instrumental member of the, the, the Calypso fraternity. So I have that Calypso background embedded in me from growing up, singing in the in the primary school level, secondary school level, participating in junior. Calypso Monarch, Junior Suka Monarch and so on. So I was even privileged to sing in the Calypso tent, which was a big deal for me. I actually, um, that was in 2016. That was a big deal for me because I always used to visit the Calypso tent and I used to see the big, big Calypsonians and their, their way of expressing was amazing to me. You know, um, they telling stories and using words and delivering these stories in such a way that it's almost like you're watching a block a blockbuster movie so i always wanted to be part of that now and be just in the environment not only to be on the stage but also just to just be around the greats within the industry and so i was happy to actually be selected for the for the calypso tent that was kaiso house in 2016 and from since then i have been working towards at least having a, a calypso tent song where I could always have that platform to be, ar to be around those people and to also express myself in that particular setting. And outside of that, performing, Juby is the performer that you want at your event. Um, whether it be the performer on the stage or the performer at the entrance, I bring in that vibe for you, you know what I mean? So that's practically Juby in a nutshell. Yeah. I have a program on WAC 90.1 FM. And we, we, we invite guests to come to the show and so on. And I doing a whole interview and it's only when I realized that I knew this individual, the story he's telling, it, I knew the individual now. So it, when, he, when he tell me it and he say, well, yeah, it happened at this particular location, this particular, particular, particular year, this particular time. And I say, and he's, you sure why he was there, why? Me telling me and thing and then going on. Not to know it was really me he was talking about. <laughs> so I don't know if he knew it was me and he was just playing with my head or if he really didn't know it was me and was just describing this in the scenario. But when, when I when I put two and two together and realized it was me, I was like, but I, I didn't even tell him. I just laughed and I was like, hey. I yeah. <laughs> I mean yeah, yeah. yeah, I would like to thank everybody for tuning in to OMG magazine. Um, you spend a little time with Juby and you can find me on my social media Instagram Juby underscore Cox Facebook Juby Cox um, Where my, all my music videos is actually on YouTube um, Type in Ju Juby J-U-B-Y and you can find all my music. I prefer you type in J-U-B-Y Soka I mean so you'll find my Soka music and so on and you'll find my Calypso music as well but Juby J-U-B-Y Cox look out, look out for me and you really wanna have me at the event? Skibby do bang bang. But make sure you have a visa, brethren.